Hello, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I am here today in Photoshop CS6. As with a lot of the other versions of Photoshop, they all work very similar, but I'm going to demonstrate how to use our digital download templates from our new um, uh, digital download site on Condi.com. If you go to Condi.com and click on anything in the menu like sublimation and go to the left in blue, you'll find digital downloads. And uh, these are uh, uh, background images along with uh, mug digital download images where you have a background and you can place an image, is, sim Im image in there similar to what I have here. So basically this would be a mug digital download, one of our holiday um, images that where you can place it on the mug and place three images inside of these um, uh, photo type, uh, I guess, portraits. So you can have three, up to three images in here or do whatever you want to really. Um, now what I've done is went ahead and downloaded it from our site and then I have opened it up in Photoshop 6. So what I want to do now is to create uh, something that I would sublimate onto a mug. This is mug 15. Uh, now you can see over here, as with all Photoshop, it works in layers. If I click on the eye here and close it, you can see which layer is which. So anything you do in Photoshop adds a layer. So each object is a layer. Uh, again, this shows up a little uh, holiday uh, comments page, which I have turned off. And these are your templates. So these are your backgrounds. So you can turn those off or on and basically just have a page like this. And so for now, I just want to work with this page just so you can see how all this imports. Now, uh, I, could, I have turned these four eyes off. Of course, it doesn't matter. You can turn them on if you want, but I, I choose to turn them off so I can just have my uh, transparent page back here that I can work with. Now, as you can see, I've, I've turned this one off as well, which I'm not going to use because I choose not to use that image, I'm going to import three images that I've uh, picked for this demonstration to place inside of each one of these photographic um, squares here. So just to let you know, uh, you would want to go ahead and crop and size your image prior to placing it into the template. So basically these squares here are about 2.25 inches and I've already cropped and sized my images and created a folder in which I'll be working from. I recommend that you have your images sized and ready to go into the template like with any template you want to have everything sized and ready to go. So clicking on this graphics for right here I'm going to go ahead and add a layer so I'm going to come down here and just go ahead and add a layer right here and that's going to put another layer here and that's where I want it. So in order to do that, I need to be in this area. So I'm going to click Add Layer. As you can see, I have now a new layer. And keep in mind, anything that's um, on top, meaning your first layer that would be on top, would be at the top and in order uh, to the bottom. So basically, this would be your top layer. We want to be somewhere in here, so when we place the image, it goes in behind the actual white area okay so let's get started layer one uh, so I need to click on layer one because I'm going to place an image in this on this particular layer so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to choose place and I'm going to go over here and just grab an image and click place so now what I want to do is to turn this image so while it's selected in the box I can turn it if I hold my cursor just over the right corner you can see that the um, arrow turns to a radius arrow and that's when I know I can I can uh, use it to turn the image and this would be to size the image so now I need to size it so I'm going to place my cursor over the top right corner and I'm just going to shrink the image proportionally to the size that I need it. Okay, and now I'm going to click somewhere in this area. As long as I'm still selected on this object with the X in it, I can manipulate it. 
So now I can just place it right there. Once I'm done, double click and that places it behind the object. So again, I'm going to place two more images in here. But as you can see, it is exactly where I want it to be. So when we turn all this back on and print it. Now I'm going to add another layer and um, bring in another image. So I'm going to go up here to um, File, and I'm going to say Place, and we'll choose another one. I'm just going to click right here and drag it over to the right, and I'm going to arrange my cursor over this right corner so that it's a, a curved cursor and then I can start turning my image and then I'm going to grab it inside the box and place it where I want it and once I'm done double click and it's added it behind this layer and again just to let you see you can see how that fits in there okay and now I'm going to go ahead and add my third image go to file place and we're going to grab this image right here and we're going to bring it over here and again turn it and size it and then grab it in here and move it over and once I'm done double click and that places it exactly how I want it. So now I have all three of my images in here and I'm ready to decide what color I want to print it. So again I can turn these off or on or turn them all on however I want to do it. And then this graphic here that I chose not to use uh, if I turn it on it shows up. I can turn it off not print it or I can just discard it down here in the trash can. If I make a mistake I can do the same with any other image. So again, that's how you use the uh, digital download for placing images using our uh, special made templates here. This is with Mug 15. However, this would work the same with any of our digital downloads and how you use Photoshop. Again, this is CS6 and most of the Photoshop versions would work the same using the place tool. Uh, again, my name is Vicki with Condi System and as always, thank you for your time.